Welcome to A Perfect Place to Start. I'm Catherine and on this channel we do home decor and DIY projects. Today I have a really fun video featuring some Pioneer Woman inspired DIYs, which happens to be one of my very favorite ways to decorate my home. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, I hope you stick around, like, and subscribe. So the first thing we're going to make today is a table runner and I'm starting out with this um, shelf liner that you can pick up at Walmart. It is from the Pioneer Woman and there are two different sizes. There's a smaller one and a larger one. I'm going to use the larger one today. This table runner is actually going to go on a coffee table that I have, um, but I'm going to feature it for you guys showing you how to style it on an actual table. So I went ahead and used this entire roll of um, shelf liner and then I picked up these fat quarters that they also have at Walmart over in the fabric department, which is also Pioneer Woman. So they have several different designs. I took four of the fat quarters and I'm going to um, go ahead and tear them into strips. So what I do is I'm going to take this one has a piece of white on the edge of it. I'm going to go ahead and trim that off and then I'm going to take each of the fat quarters and I'm just going to take a pair of scissors, snip it, and then tear it so I have about 18 strips come in each one of these fat quarters. So once I have them all put into the strips, I just go ahead and knot them at the top so they have this really kind of fun shabby look to them. And then I'm going to take some hot glue and I'm going to intertwine them in at the very end of the shelf liner. I didn't do anything to the shelf liner. I left it exactly the same because I used the full length of it. And all I'm going to do is take one of each of these colors, glue them where the knot is that I made onto the edge, and I'm just going to follow that pattern all the way to the edge of this um, shelf liner. So it does take the total amount of um, fabric strips that I made. There were 18 of each color and it took 18 to do both ends of this uh, table runner. If you're familiar with the Pioneer Woman or you like to um, use her products, she does a lot of mismatching, which is what I really liked about how this turned out because they are all kind of different colors and different patterns and they all go really well and I just absolutely love how this turned out. So here is the one end of it. I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same process on this other end of the table runner and here it is styled in some decor. So for this project we're going to be making some wooden coasters. I just recently saw a set of coasters that are Pioneer Woman over at Walmart. Um, this wooden set of coasters came from Hobby Lobby and last week the wooden products were on sale for 40% off and normally it's if it's $4.99 or over and last week it was 40% off all unfinished wood. So that's a really great deal to get some really fun pieces. So I'm going to take the base of this and I'm going to paint it in my pink folk art chalk paint and then I'm going to use my antique Waverly wax and I'm only going to cover one side of the round piece of the coasters. Then I'm going to take some white folk art chalk paint and I'm just going to go ahead and dry brush that all over the base of the coasters. That gives me a nice distressed look and a really fun farmhouse look. Now this can be customized to any colors that you want and if you're not into Pioneer Woman this could be any you know uh, scrapbook paper that you want to do. Um, I picked these up at Hobby Lobby and they were on sale so they were like a quarter for each sheet. I thought that they were really close uh, to the style of pattern that she likes to put out and so I thought these made a really fun dupe. All I'm going to do is place them on the paper and I'm going to put two coasters to each piece of paper and it was pretty simple. All I did was take a piece or a pencil and trace around the wood circle and then cut that out. So once I got the circles cut out, then I'm just going to take some Mod Podge and I'm going to adhere that to the paper side. I find that it wrinkles less if you put the Mod Podge on the paper rather than the project. And so I go ahead and do that and secure it onto my coaster. I also did put a layer of Mod Podge on top of the paper and then I'm going to go ahead and take a piece of sandpaper and I'm going to sand the edges of the coasters. That way they are a flush um, 
edge to each one of the coasters. And I did go ahead and go outside and spray this with a clear matte spray since water and things like that would be going on top of this using it as a coaster. And here it is styled in some decor. For this project we're going to create a napkin holder and I don't know if that's what this really like was meant to be. It's probably a planter but when I saw it immediately my mind went to like some kind of napkin holder for picnic or a party of some kind. I don't know probably because I have been watching a lot of Pioneer Woman on Discovery Plus. <laughs> it's one of my most favorite things to watch in the morning and it gets me inspired to do cooking and things like that so I just absolutely love that show. But I took some antique Waverly wax and I'm just going to cover um, the entire project with it. How you do it, if you're not familiar with that, you're going to paint it on and then you're just going to take a paper towel or a napkin and you're going to wipe off any excess wax to give it a really nice stain. So if you don't have any antique Waverly wax, a stain will work just as well just as well. So once I have it on and it's all dried, I took another piece of that scrapbook paper and I just cut a section of it. This project was inspired by her ice cream maker that I just got this summer and if you've not seen it, it has like these little wood pieces and then a design like that go down the side of it, kind of like this. And so that's what inspired me to create this. Um, but then I took these half wood beads that I got from Amazon and I'll link those down in my description box. I just covered them with some antique Waverly wax as well and then I'm just going to periodically glue them around the side here. I glue three of these beads on and I just do it in thirds and then once I get those beads glued on then here is this project styled in some decor. friends are you enjoying today's video i hope so and if you are and you haven't hit that like button yet go down hit that like button it really helps my channel grow and be seen by other people so for this project we're going to create a silverware holder and i was kind of going with the same picnic party theme but i found this cute little box you could also use this for a desk organizer if you wanted to or any kind of organizing situation but i covered it in some of this dark red folk art paint and then I took this uh, scrap of paper that I got from Hobby Lobby and I'm just gluing it to the front and the back. So this wasn't quite long enough. It was a 12 by 12 piece of paper. Um, so I was got to thinking as I was, you know, um, piecing this together that fabric would probably be really cute on this project or she also makes a adhesive shelf liner that you could put here and just um, adhere and then you wouldn't have any seams with the paper. And you can pick up that adhesive shelf paper at Walmart as well. But here it is styled in some decor. For this project we're going to redo a lattice piece of wall art that I had picked up at Hobby Lobby several years ago and it used to hang in my laundry room but I had moved recently and so I decided to redo this to kind of put it in my kitchen dining room. So I'm going to take some white folk art chalk paint and at first I decided I was going to dry brush it on here but the wood was soaking up the paint so then I just ended up painting it on there. So I decided to like do the one direction of lattice and then I was going to go back and do the other direction of lattice but in all honesty it was not turning out really well. You can see here in my next shot that it's like very I don't know it's not cohesive and it's real choppy as far as the paint goes so I decided to scrap painting it with my chalk paint and decided to go outside and use some spray paint so I'm going to cover this entire project with the spray paint which I ended up really liking a lot better and that made this project go super fast so then I took some more of that scrapbook paper from Hobby Lobby and I don't know what I was thinking but I adhered the Mod Podge onto my project rather than my paper and I'm telling you guys 
that's where the wrinkles come from. So I did my best to get the wrinkles out of this, but this is it for this project. All you're going to do is put your piece of paper into the middle, and then I covered it again with some more Mod Podge, and here it is, styled in some decor. For this project, we're going to be uh, redoing this wooden plate that I also got in the unfinished wood section of Hobby Lobby. Um, I can, I've seen this there several times and I thought it would make really cute kitchen decor. I'm going to go ahead and cover it with this pink folk art acrylic paint that I got at Hobby Lobby. And I'm using my same pieces of scrapbook paper that I also got there. I did go ahead and do some dry brushing over the pink paint with some white chalk paint after I was done. I just added this piece of paper, super easy, and here it is styled in some decor. Did you know I'm on social media? You can find me on Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and of course, YouTube. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you go down and do that now. So for this project, we're going to create a wooden riser. This could also be a tray if you wanted it to. I make this a double project just to show you how you could do it either way. I decide to use it as a riser, but I'm going to cover the whole thing in my white chalk paint from Folk Art. I left the bottom open. And all I did was measure the inside and cut out my paper to adhere to the inside. I'm going to go ahead and put my <laughs> Mod Podge down. I'm telling you guys, put it on the paper. Don't put it on the project. I don't know why these last two projects, I must have been tired. So I go ahead and I put it in there. You could add some handles to that if you wanted to, but I decide um, that, well, actually my husband decided that this would be a good idea and I actually ended up really liking how it turned out. So I cut a piece of paper and I'm just going to go ahead and Mod Podge that to the very bottom of this wood piece. And then here it is styled in some decor. So here is a final look of all the projects together. If you haven't noticed, I'm totally obsessed with the Pioneer Woman. My family gives me a huge, big deal. I own all kinds of gadgets and kitchen gear, and I own her clothes, and I, I just absolutely love her style. Um, this product, or this video was not sponsored at all by Pioneer Woman or by Walmart. I just happen to really love um, her things and I love to, that you can get them at Walmart and they're an affordable price. So if you haven't checked out her items, they are all over the store. She has all kinds of kitchen gadgets, um, clothes, like I said, fabric now. So um, you can pretty much find whatever you are looking for. But I loved how my dupes turned out. Let me know what you think and which project was your favorite. And if you like this kind of decor, that shabby chic kind of country decor, check out these videos here. And as always, wherever you are in your journey is a perfect place to start, and I will see you in my next video.